Hello guys, this is videos on for the win here, and I'm playing Rip Light. Here, one sec, let me just do something. You're gonna like that. Um, I'm actually using a controller, so no keyboard using here. Um, so I got a, I guess I kind of got a trainer playing today. I mean, not new, but one of my family's old ones. So, uh, I'm gonna fly one. This is almost exactly the same. It's a Habako. Uh, but it's, I think it's a star, Habakkuk star, this is an X star, so actually it's kind of done the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to fly it, show you what it's going to be like. So I've played, I've obviously played this game before, um, well I don't know if you found that obvious, but I guess some people might have found that pretty obvious. Uh, I've I've played I've played earlier versions of this game, um, so uh, yeah. The heck? Sorry, it was uh, something. Um, uh, by the way, I'm recording. So I'm just gonna land it real quick. Um, pretty good at landing, so I can really line it up pretty well. So if you look in the bottom right, that's almost exactly what my controller looks like in real life. Uh, except it's not an actual camera, there's no hands. But I am using, you know, both thumbs on the, uh, each stick. And I have the, uh, each of my fingers on the, uh, different switches. So we're gonna, I'm gonna actually go in for a full landing this time, and then I'll use some of the other or use a different plane. So, smooth approach. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll kind of base it off the shadow if I'm on the runway or not. That was a pretty good landing. I wouldn't call that the best. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, I'm playing the demo, so. Yeah, I can't really afford the other plane I could get, which is the Thunderbolt. This is a more gas-sounding plane. Of course, the other one actually has an engine on it, but this is more four-stroke sounding. So this one's a little bit less touchy on the controls, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like the road. That was pretty touchy, though. Yeah. It, it is pretty, almost every single aircraft, or I mean, every single aircraft you could actually get in the demo is pretty touchy. Uh, that includes the helicopters because they are, in fact, um, aircraft. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a landing here. That was pretty good. That was a good I would have probably torn the wings from the fuselage. Okay, a little bit of frame shortage. Sorry, it's just there's a rendering issue on this. I have a killer PC. Uh, if you looked at the FPS earlier in my video, it was up to 658, so I was pretty happy about that. Now it's up to 100, or it's actually at a solid 100 right now, unless you can't see it. Or unless you can see it. Uh, it's at 100. So I'm gonna bring it into the landing and I'll end the video since the, all there is left to do would be helicopters. And I haven't flown a RC helicopter in ages and I tried it earlier today and it's just uh, terrible. 
Okay. So I'll just bring it in for a landing here. Yeah, it's going pretty well. A little bit there. It's kind of hard. You have to really learn your eye uh, hand-eye coordination if you're going to be a I, uh, RC plane enthusiast. Or not really enthusiast, but just flyer. I have a real good uh, hand-eye coordination because I am a drummer. And that kind of helps with not having to look at the camera. Or, I mean, not have not have the camera doesn't even have to do anything with this. Uh, helps I don't really have to look at the controller. I can just kind of tell where I'm going with this. So. I don't know if you, oops, that's not good. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, let's just end the episode up with a real good crash. So, uh, that's, uh, that's what I like about Real Flight 6. So you actually get the, uh, oh, the rudder still works, that's funny. Uh, you actually get the, uh, parts that separate, so. Oh, I hope I, I could get this soon, the full version. So I don't have these ads popping up. And, uh, so that I'll have all my stuff. You can hear the servos! That's actually pretty cool. Anyway. See? Talking about ads. Alright, well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>